Sen durdunuz ki böyle. Sen Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to welcome you in the webinar on exercises in pregnancy. I'm Dr. Preeti Jindal, Director of the Touch Clinic, Senior Consultant Gynecologist. And today, me and my co-consultant, Dr. Cherry, will cover about tips for staying fit and uh, fine during your pregnancy by doing regular exercises. These are a regular series of webinars which, you have, which we are conducting every Friday and from next week it will be from 3 to 4 and we are trying to cover several topics which you would as a going to be mom like to discuss with your obstetrician or there might be something which you are you would like to know but you do uh, you do not know whom to ask so we are just trying to cover these topics so today's topic is exercise during pregnancy now in pregnancy Exercise is very important because you have to understand that body is undergoing lots of changes. It is gaining weight. Your ligaments are becoming weaker. They are becoming more relaxed. Your back is taking a lot of burden of uterus and uh, baby and like The overall weight gain in the breast is also increasing. Hormonal changes are occurring. And that makes you feel lethargic and leads to chronic backache if you are not careful. In pregnancy, there is a rough weight gain of around 10 to 15 kgs. If your pre-pregnancy weight is average or normal and you are not obese, obese means little on a fatter side, then you might gain something around 12 to 15 kgs. 13 is considered to be the ideal weight gain. If you are on a heavier side, then it is always advisable that you gain less. So 5 to 6 kgs depending on your pre-pregnancy weight if it is more. And if you are underweight, then you will tend to gain a bit more. Another thing that you have to understand is that pregnancy is not a disease until unless you are in the category of high-risk pregnancy. So if it is your normal pregnancy, first, second, or third pregnancy, you do not have any high risk factor, and you had either vaginal delivery or cesarean delivery, that doesn't matter, then you are fit to do exercises in your pregnancy. In fact, even if you have a high risk pregnancy like diabetes, high blood pressure, or excessive weight like obesity, in such conditions also, you should do some exercise so that your pregnancy does not become more high risk. So it is safe to start regular physical activity. Always discuss your exercise with your treating obstetrician, but then in most cases, except for placenta previa, where the placenta is low lying, or there is bleeding during pregnancy in all other conditions, we always say do the exercises. Even with placenta previa, you can do exercises while sitting on your bed or while sitting on your chair. You don't have to run, but then you can do other exercises to make your other uh, your body and limb comfortable and more relaxed. Exercises have lots of benefits. They make you gain weight in a proper way. Your risk of miscarriage does not increase by exercises or the risk of early delivery does not increase with exercise because exercises are of different kinds. When I'm talking of exercise, I'm just not saying that you have to run. Even if you are moving your shoulder, your hip joint, your neck, even that is an exercise. So depending on your condition, you can do it and you can choose the exercises and you can do them safely. Also, you have to realize pregnancy is for nine months. You cannot just sit on uh, sit and be sedentary for nine months because all your body will stop functioning properly if you do not move your limbs, you do not become active during pregnancy. And pregnancy we take to be a normal physiological condition. We never take it as a disease. 
what are the conditions that make exercise during pregnancy unsafe? Few conditions where we say do restricted exercise. We never stop any exercise. Even if you're moving your neck like this, I mean, that is an exercise of the neck. So in the conditions such as heart diseases, cardiomyopathies, here we would uh, prefer that you do not do strenuous exercises like running on a treadmill. But here you can do normal yoga, or you can do exercises of every limb of the body, like of your neck, of your shoulders, of, uh, of your toes, fingers. These exercises can be done even if you are having heart diseases. If you are asthmatic, again, you cannot do strenuous exercise because that will make you breathless. But you can move your joints, you can do yoga, you can sit and do breathing exercises. If you had a cervical circle arch for short cervix, then we would say that you do not do running exercises or weightlifting, but other exercises you can do. If you're pregnant with twins or triplets, again, strenuous exercises not to be done, but other yoga and your body exercises can be done. So it is very important that you take help of your obstetrician or your antenatal exercise instructor to tell you which exercises you can do and which you cannot do. Placenta previa, I already told if your placenta is low lying, if you're having a preterm labor, then yes, we will not ask you to do strenuous exercises, but breathing exercises should be done because breathing exercises increase the oxygen supply to the baby and also increases your lung capacity. So this time we are facing COVID and pandemic is going on. So breathing exercises anyway is good for every human being. If you have a ruptured membrane or leakage, then also breathing exercises, joint exercises while sitting or yoga will be helpful. So how does the exercises help? They reduce the back pain. You have to realize that the back in women is curved in the lower part. So when the weight increases or the baby grows in size, the uterus grows in size, then the curvature increases. So if you're not sitting properly, you're not doing back muscle strengthening exercises, then you will start having the back pain. Also, as you move around and you do exercises, it helps in digestion and it helps in prevention of constipation. If you're diabetic in pregnancy, we always say that after food, Always take half an hour walk because that decreases your sugar level and your insulin requirement. So it helps in decreasing your risk of developing gestational diabetes, high blood pressure. And of course, everybody wants to have a vaginal delivery. Yes, but the vaginal delivery will happen only if your ligaments are pliable, if your pelvic muscles are strong and you are able to push the baby. So it all these exercises, antenatal exercises, they really help in increasing the chance of having a vaginal delivery if your baby is in the right position. It also promotes healthy weight gain during pregnancy, improves your overall general fitness and strengthen, strengthens your heart and blood vessels. It also helps in coming back to shape immediately after the delivery. Most of our touch moms, they are they come back to shape very fast because they are very active during the pregnancies and we are always advising them, guiding them what exercises to take, to do, what diet to follow. And if anybody is gaining excessive weight, we try to help her to control her weight gain. And once they, are, they deliver, we uh, give them full support so that they come back to shape as early as possible. So if you are exercising during your pregnancy, then not only your birth, childbirth is very easy, also coming back to shape becomes very easy irrespective whether you had a vaginal delivery or cesarean delivery. Because once you are active, your joints, your all body ligaments are strengthened and your abdominal muscles are already strengthened. You do not feel the neck pain. You do not feel the tummy, flabby skin is not there, your knee joints are very strengthened and then you are able to take care of your baby also well and you come back to shape very fast. So next question which people ask is how much should we exercise? I always tell listen to your body. 
do not over exert see how much you can do and slowly you can increase it every day our body is like a machine the more you work on it the more it can so if you are walking for 10 minutes today and you start feeling breathless take rest tomorrow you try to increase by 5 minutes more then next day you try to increase by 5 minutes so 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity every week is what we target at also the what exercises we cannot do at all horse riding is one thing which we always say do not do second heavy weight lifting so you can do 2 or 3 kg of weight you can take them in dumbbells in your arm in your arm in your hand and you can raise your arms like this you can do it like this so this will strengthen your chest muscles and also your neck muscles and your biceps and triceps so you are able to hold the baby many times new moms they come and say they are having pain in their wrist in their arms because of holding the baby constantly so if you these muscles are strengthened already then you will not have problem in feeding the child and carrying the baby after the birth so aerobic activity large muscles of body like those in the legs and arms they move in rhythmic way so they become tightened and they help not only in smooth delivery of the child but also afterwards after the birth you are again able to resume your exercises after vaginal delivery you can resume all the exercises from the very next day and after cesarean you can resume them after a week and abdominal exercises you can resume after 6 weeks once your scars are totally healed but other exercises you can do from the very next day after cesarean so moderate intensity exercises in this you are moving enough to raise your heart rate and start sweating you still can talk normally but you cannot sing so Sing means in in a way I'm saying that you are not able to think at that time. That means you become breathless. So that is a moderate activity. So you can do either of these things. The uh, gym balls are very good form of exercises. You can sit on that. That relaxes your pelvic muscles. You can do all exercises on that. But you have to be very careful that you do not fall or slip. So take help of your partner. You can always do cycle. a bicycle riding or you can do a stationary cycle you can walk as much as you want you can swim in your pregnancy they are absolutely safe but while swimming you have to make sure that the waters in which you are swimming they are needing clean and nowadays because of the covid swimming is banned because you can catch covid so during covid pandemic swimming should be avoided but rest exercises can be done how to divide divide your 150 minutes you can work out your schedule you can do 30 minutes and you can do 5 days a week or you can do 10 minutes throughout each day i would always advise to exercise every day after every meal you can walk for 20 minutes or 30 minutes and take out a dedicated 20 minutes time to do all the joint exercises like your neck start from your neck if you remember your pt days in your school They they used to make you uh, do PT. The same things you can do. Neck ten times like this. It will prevent your double chin from happening. It will strengthen your neck muscles. Then you can raise your arms like this. So it will prevent your hanging triceps. Then you can try to hold your both the arms behind your back, and that will strengthen your breast muscles or the chest muscles. So it will prevent hanging of the breast. Then you can lie down on the bed and you can cycle. or you can do a leg lifting even in, even if you are pregnant you can do 15 minute 15 degree leg leg raising and that will just tighten your tummy but if you are feeling uncomfortable with it do not do it it totally depends with what you are comfortable with then you can sit with cross leg and you can try to make your toes touch to come towards you we will be showing a video after our talk in which you can see exactly how these exercises are being done if you are new to exercise you should start slowly and gradually increase your activity begin with as little as 5 minutes a day and add 5 minutes each week as i just told you what are safe exercises that i can do in pregnancy this is another question you can do everything except for horse riding and heavy weight lifting actually you can do everything but just to help you know in first trimester pilates can be done yoga stationary biking weight training swimming running can be done swimming again if it's covid you don't do it 
second trimester walking yoga running third trimester you jogging walking aqua sports again because of covid you cannot do but otherwise aqua sports are very good toning exercises and when you are preparing for labor you can do squatting and pelvic tilts which will we'll be showing you in the video so what other are the benefit of the exercise it helps us in balancing so chances of slipping is less you know that how much you weigh what is your center of gravity so all these things when you are exercising you are aware of it the second important thing is that when you are doing the exercise you have to be very careful that you do not trip over or you fall and you are in the safe environment So what are the changes that occur in the body during pregnancy that can affect your exercise routine your joints they may become relaxed so and they may pain a bit but do not worry the more you exercise they will you will get used to that relaxed mobility they may become become more mobile and they may be at a risk of injury so do not overdo any exercise so actually speaking there is everything you can do and you should do you should carry on with your routine the pregnancy is something which is you have to enjoy the pregnancy should move with you during your journey of 9 months it should not hamper you from any activity and doing the exercises will make you more comfortable you will you will be able to eat more you will be able to breathe easily you will have you will get tired so you will be able to sleep so insomnia or pregnancy will not happen and you will have a good body image and after delivery it will be easier for you to come back to shape so now i invite dr cherry consultant at touch clinic with me and she will carry you forwards with the other parts in trimester wise division of the exercises enjoy your pregnancy and see you on the next friday thank you to be so can you can you on the uh, let's go forward the so changes which occur in the body during pregnancy that may affect your exercise routine first is the joints as told by dr preeti the joints become relaxed they become more mobile and they are we then the pregnant lady might be at a risk of injury so we should do the exercises very carefully and the next thing is how the breathing affect so uh, in the breathing while you are pregnant you uh, your need for oxygen it increases this may affect your ability to do the strenuous exercises especially if you are overweight or obese so whenever you do exercise make sure that somebody is there nearby you while you are doing the physical training now there are different exercise tips uh, which we are giving you when you are pregnant so whenever you are uh, doing a physical training do not exhaust yourself while exercising always keep yourself hydrated while exercising avoid the strenuous exercise in hot weather and try to exercise under the guidance of someone uh since so akupiti i want to told you in the covid normally the swimming swimming should be avoided and walking is an amazing and safe when it comes to the easiest exercise what precautions should you take when exercise when you do exercise during pregnancy so again for avoiding dehydration you should drink plenty of water before during and after your workout with the signs of dehydration being dizziness racing or pounding heart urinating only small amounts or the dark yellow urine then avoid again the over uh, don't make yourself overheated so uh, wear loose fitting clothes and a good dress support drink Uh, plenty of water with exercise in the temperature control room and wear the compression stockings to really help you to pump out blood from your lower calf muscle towards your heart exercise on the flat level surface and get up slowly and gradually to prevent the dizziness so what are the other things uh, which you can avoid during the uh, pregnancy is that is the contact sports like the kickboxing judo on the ice hockey soccer and the basketball and the sky diving uh what is the next um, thing we need to take care is like dr pk have already told uh, that uh, during exercise the horse riding is the thing which you should 
normally avoid it. Now the other thing is uh, just hold on please. Uh, I just need some assistance. Just wait for a second. Auntie ko bula do. So uh Until the video is stopped, I'm going to put on the slide in here. Thank you. Okay, the other activities, so the things we should avoid is the activities that may result in the fall. That is the skying, the off-road cycling, surfing, and the gymnastic, and most of important of is the horseback riding. The scuba, dive, uh, scuba diving should be avoided with the heavy weight lifting that requires the straining of your abdominal muscles. So what are the warning signs that you should stop uh, while you are exercising? That is the bleeding from the vagina or if there is a shortness of breath before starting the exercise. If you are feeling dizzy or you are having a sudden chest pain or there could be headache, muscle weakness or calf pain or the lower swelling of the limbs, or the regular painful contraction of the uterus if suddenly you are able to feel it, or the fluid gushing or the leaking <coughs> per vagina, there is some leakage of fluid from the vagina. So what are tips to get uh, fit during pregnancy is you should examine your diet, have a proper sleep, keep moving, and keep yourself hydrated. Smoking and drinking should be avoided and definitely the stress should be reduced. So why it is important to keep exercising even after your baby is born? Because it improves mood, it improves your mood, it decreases the risk of deep pain thrombosis and help you lose the extra pounds that you may have gained during the pregnancy. So these are some of the workouts which you can do definitely after the baby is born and in the uh, coming video we will show you the exercises which you can do during pregnancy. Now uh, with the moms who have already delivered some of the uh, exercises they can do is the stomach uh, curl ups. For the butts they can, use, they can do the squats. For the inner thighs they can raise the front leg. For the outer thighs and the hips the side leg raises are good enough. For your side angles, definitely twisting is good. And for the arm, you can just hold the baby and do the bench presses. So the take home message is physical activity does not increase your risk of miscarriage, low birth weight or early delivery. 30 minutes workout on five days of the week is the appropriate thing. Or as earlier too, whatever uh, time limit you are comfortable with, you can do that time limit. And walking is amazing and safe when it comes to the easiest exercise. Now, in the coming uh, slide, there is a uh, doctor, uh, Harsimrat will tell you about the different exercises trimester-wise, which you can do um, while you are pregnant and they are safe. Thank you. So we will now let you see the different exercises which are safe during pregnancy and you can do them being safe. Please click the video. This is Anjali, click the video for you. Uh, good evening to everyone and now uh, with the help of a model, I'm going to demonstrate all the exercises, antenatal exercises. Uh, so these exercises, first I would just like to tell briefly about the exercises. These exercises are to be start after 13th week of pregnancy and uh, you need a green flag from your from ma'am when to start the exercises. Like if she says, yes, now, if, if, even if you are like 13 weeks pregnant and you still need to ask your uh, doctor or PT ma'am about uh, whether you can really start them or not. You should not have any complication or low-line placenta or anything like that uh, 
to start with the exercises. So uh, these exercises are divided in four parts. So first we need to warm up, then we have the exercise session, then we have the stretches, and then we have the cool down session. And they are very simple and they are very easy. Initially, our aim of doing these exercises is uh, you should. It is basically why do we exercise? We exercise to keep ourselves fit and healthy so that the blood circulation is proper in the body so that good chemicals like uh, beta endorphins and serotonin is released in your brain and uh, which helps in you know you perceive pain less and you are happier so these are the reasons uh, these are like few reasons why you need to exercise and uh, i have been i have been the antenatal instructor at the clinic since almost 3 years now and uh, so all these exercises i have been teaching since so you can trust on these exercises you don't have to go to youtube and do those exercises and further you know you you'll end up in some other other problem so you do these exercises and i promise you this that they will give you very good benefit so um uh, i have my dear friend uh, sister neha on whom i'm going to demonstrate all the exercises and these are safe for everyone no matter you are in your 25th week or, uh, or your 13th week or your 33rd week so basically these set of exercises are divided into two parts first is between 13th and 33rd week and second is from 33rd week and beyond uh good evening to everyone and now uh, with the help of a model i'm going to Uh, good evening to every ligaments of the body please knowing that you have had a fall so be very careful though they are very easy but still as a practitioner i need to tell you this that uh, just do them in safe environment okay so uh, sister neha thank uh, you for this and you are not coming we are not able to the video okay just hold on please yeah. so our first exercise is about the neck so what you need to do is You just have to just hold on. Uh, good evening to everyone, and now uh, with the help of Aspen's driver, hold on. Breathe then. so our first exercise is about the neck so what you need to do is you just have to so you just have to bring the neck down and up all the exercises are to be done in range free motion okay so if you have pain on going at the same range like if you see up and if you have pain here so stop it you don't have to go to the area where you have pain stop it in dheere dheere karke gradually the pain will go away when you start with the exercises the pain will go away. so if i'm talking about neck pain over here you have to go to here not till the end range okay and then you have to come down so you can start your exercises by five counts neck up down sideways left and right and half circles piche and half circles are okay okay and i'm clear with the neck part this is just part of the warm up so it's neck up down sideways half circles piche and half circles are okay so hum log kyun half circles karte hain kyunki full circles kyun nahi karte hain jaise generally hum dekhte hain ki sab full circles kar rahe hain kyunki hamare disc ke liye theek nahi hai okay usse disc becomes prone to injury and it becomes weak also next is this one has to be done with breathing So hold both the arms together and breathe in. Take your arms up and bring them down. When you breathe out, your arms should come down. So it is breathe in and breathe out. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Next is open your arms, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. 
So when you take your arms up, you are actually when you take your arms up, you are opening the rib cage. The rib cage from here is opening. So your arms are getting more space for the oxygen. Zada oxygen jayega to zada blood may diffuse hoga. Zada placenta tak aur baby tak pahunchega. Okay. Similarly, when you open your arms, breathe in. You are again opening the rib cage. Lungs are clear up only. Zada oxygen jayega aur zada hi blood may diffuse hoga. Okay, so these are very simple exercises, but they have very good benefits. उसके बाद shoulders को relax करने के लिए clockwise and anti-clockwise rotate करना. Can you? I hope everybody can see clockwise rotate and anti-clockwise. कितनी बार करना है? Five to ten times. कईयों को तीन बार में थकावट होगी, tiredness होगी. So you can start with two or three times, but you all have to do them. उसके बाद straight खड़े होके side bending. Side bending, yes, and opposite side. बहुत जोर से stretch नहीं करना है और इसको momentum भी नहीं देना है. End में आकर just go there and relax. Go there and relax. वापस relax. आपको बस यहाँ पर हल्का सा stretch होना चाहिए इस side पर and then relax. There has to be no hold. It's just movement and relax. उसके बाद you have to make big circles with the pelvis. You have to be very big. You have to open your legs, right base of support, करके and then make big circles. Big circles, both clockwise and anti-clockwise, and opposite side. Exactly. उसके बाद अपने हिप के तीन तीन directions में movement है. Hold on to something, hold a ball or a chair. Leg को पहले आगे लेके जाना है। उसके बाद side में और उसके बाद पीछे। Leg को stand straight, your body has to be straight. Leg को आगे। Come back side में and पीछे। Okay, so you have to do this movement for both the sides. Uske baad, next is, after the head, it is about knees. You just have to bend the knee and straighten it. Bend it and straighten it. Bend it and straighten it. So you can do it in three ways. Either you can just bend a little bit and come up. Bend a little bit and come up. Bend and come up. Or you can, what you can do is, one minute here. Or what you can do is, you can just lift up the leg. Lift the leg up and come down. Lift the leg up and come down. And the next way how you can do it is just take the leg back and come down. Take the leg back and come down. But remember, you have to hold on to something. We don't want anybody to fall, okay? Next is toe standing and knee standing. So, you have to stand on your toes and then you have to come back slowly and stand on your heels. Again, toe standing and heel standing. Go on your toes and come back, stand on your heels. Again, toe standing and heel standing. Toe standing and heel standing. So, kuch logo ko baad mein complain to that ki during pregnancy they are swelling in their feet. So for that you have to wear the stockings first of all. Next is you have to do the circulatory exercise of your feet. Pairo ko aage piche hila hai. Aage piche kam se kam 30 to 50 times. And next is you can also elevate your legs little bit. Piche pillow rakke gravity se apne aap drainage hoga. Jo lymphatic fluid hai wo apne aap lymph nodes mein jayega. Okay, so if you exercise, to jitne bhi toxins hai ya jitne bhi jitna bhi lymph fluid hai aapke extremities mein, wo apne aap drain hoga. Okay. उसके बाद फिर आप एक्सरसाइज़ इन लाइन विच आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू राइट नाउ सो दिस आर द वेरी बेसिक एक्सरसाइज़ेस विच आर विच आर टॉट जस्ट नाउ सो यू कैन स्टार्ट विद देम एंड मेबी वी कैन हैव अनदर एक्सरसाइज़ सेशन ऑनलाइन और यू कैन आल्सो कॉल एट द क्लिनिक एंड टेक एन अपॉइंटमेंट इफ यू so you all start with this and then you can come back to the clinic and let me know 
I will help you with the next set of exercises. So you need a map. Okay, so now after lying down on the mat, सबसे पहले तो because you are pregnant, most of you might be having pain when you lie down with your legs straight. होता है बहुत बहुत लोगों की complaint होती है कि सीधा लेटने से back pain होता है. So try to lie down with your knees bent. Okay, and then the first exercise is knee को straight करो और फिर से bent करो. Straight and bend. बहुत इजी है हम ये bend और ये straight तो करते ही रहते हैं, so it's only for relaxation. Okay. Next is single leg raise. एक leg को bend कीजिए और दूसरी leg को ऊपर उठाना. Lift it up and then down. Lift it up and then come down. Lift the leg up and then come down. इसको ऑपोजिट साइड पेल्विक रोटेशन ओके इट्स अ वेरी रिलैक्सिंग एंड यू ऑल मस्ट डू देम यू कैन डू इट फॉर टेन टू ट्वेंटी डांस ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज इज ब्रिजिंग विद योर लेग्स देन यू हैव टू विद योर आर्म्स ऑन साइड यू हैव टू लिफ्ट योर पेल्विस अप काउंट विल टेन One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and come down. Again, lift your pelvis up and come down. Lift your pelvis up and come down and relax. Now these are the set of exercises with which you have to start with your in your line. Okay, so in the line exercise, the line one exercises are these ones. So this is how you have to start it. Now next is side line. Side. Turn. Very slow. Turn. करके. Keep your नीचे वाली leg bent. ऊपर वाली leg straight. And lift it up. Up and down. Up and down. Initially, if you have any problem in raising your leg, the way I am helping Neha, you can take your partner's help. Down. Up. And down, and relax. Now turn towards the other side. Up, down, up, down, up, and down, and relax. Now the next exercise is. You have to do the cat and camel exercise. Be very careful while lying. I mean, in coming this quadruped position, you have to be very careful. Don't lie on your stomach. Okay. So this has to be the position. Legs to थोड़ा सा open करके, arms to relax करके, under your shoulders. Take your head down. Try to look at your knees and bring your back upwards. So this is the camel. And opposite, back under and look at the front. Open hand को देखना. Back को अंदर. और ऊपर देखना सीधे ऑपोजिट गो डाउन लुक एट योर नीज एंड ऑपोजिट एंड फिर से ऑपोजिट अगेन जब बैक अंदर है तो सामने देखना जब बैक बाहर है तो नीज को देखना ओके नेक्स्ट इज ओपन योर लेग्स मोर You have to give some space to your tummy, so that it will go to the other side of your knees. So remember to open your legs and go back. Go back. Don't move your arms. Don't move your arms. Just go back and stretch yourself. And come in the front. Then say go back. And come in the front. You don't need anybody's help to do all this. I'm just guiding Sister Neha. Go back. 
and come in the cell. Go back. If you have low back pain, tightness in your lower back, this is a very good exercise, okay? And then come up. Now sit on your feet in Vajrasana. You have to sit in Vajrasana every day. So this is how you have to sit. Back has to be straight. Yes. So these are the first set of basic exercises. There are many, many more exercises. But because I haven't met you and I haven't seen you all in person, uh, I have a limitation of only discussing these many exercises. So uh, please start with these exercises and then maybe in the next webinar or maybe if you come to the clinic, I would be able to help you more uh, in strengthening and stretching. So start all these exercises, please. Um, Thank you, Harsimrat. And uh, I, I, do you have more exercises, Harsimrat? Or are you done with the session? Now I'm done with the session. Uh, these are the basic sessions. Thank you so much, ma'am. So now we are ending up the session by telling you some information about our touch clinic services. We take all precautions for COVID-19, consultation with prior employment only. COVID testing is done prior to delivery or any surgery. We take care of all the safety parameters in our touch clinic. We have our pharmacy, home delivery of medicines available at your doorstep. For that, you have to call our number 0172 5032467 and 9613112000. Up in numbers, they call Kirky Medicines up in those steps. You have a uh, blood sample collection. You can call on the number 99154-9682-1 or 99157-48821. Up in numbers, they call Kirky or information you have to give. और जैसे कि मैंने आपको पहले भी बताया है कि हमारे वेबिनार्स जो है वो वीक में दो बार आते हैं हमारे जो वेबिनार्स हैं वो एवरी ट्यूसडे एंड एवरी फ्राइडे आते हैं किसी ने अगर मिस कर दिया है वेबिनार और वो देखना चाहता है या बीच में किसी ने लॉगिन किया है तो वो हमारी वेबसाइट पे जा सकता है हमारी वेबसाइट है www.touchclinic.com आप इस पे विजिट करके सारी इंफॉर्मेशन ले सकते हैं हमारे जितने भी अभी तक के हमारे वेबिनार्स हुए हैं so the next webinar hai, that is for the infertility, which is 3rd November, which is PCOD and infertility ki topic. Ki upar hai. The speakers are the Dr. Piti Jindal, the director of our touch clinic, ke, and Dr. Isha Pondal. So, if you have Dr. Piti se employment, or you want to get a video consultation or phone consultation, they can call on the number 99157 4881 pe, या नाइन ट्रिपल एट डबल फोर डबल एट जीरो थ्री पे स्क्रीन पे नंबर्स आ रहे हैं आप इनपे कॉल करके अपनी इंप्लॉयमेंट जो है वो फिक्स करा सकते हैं माम से वीडियो कंसल्टेशन और फोन कंसल्टेशन या विजिट करना चाहते हैं तो हमारे जो टाइमिंग्स हैं वो टेन टू सिक्स फॉर द वीडियो कंसल्टेशन आल्सो एंड फॉर